everyone, this is Misty with Nerd News Social, and I am at San Diego Comic Con today, and we are talking to Brandon Easton, who is a writer for the Robotech. Growing up, Robotech was like one of the first animate uh, cartoons that I got to watch uh, that kind of had like more drama. It wasn't like, you know, Monster of the Week or mm -hmm. just, hey, sell me a new toy from the 80s. Mm -hmm. um, this story picks up where in the timeline? So basically this takes place at the end of the Macross saga. And it's after the SDF-1 and SDF-2 have been destroyed, but before the Southern Cross storyline. So this is a very fertile ground of unknown Robotech stories. So we have Rick and all the survivors of the first war getting caught up in a brand new storyline. And it's something that a lot of fans have been asking for. They've been begging for new storylines, no retreads. So what we've done here is come up with a new story and kind of fill in the gaps between the end of one, story, one war and the beginning of the next one. Yeah, I, I remember like when it tri when it crossed over from the first series into the second series, it was mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, well, that's the kid of that character. Mm -hmm. and Max and Maria, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I love that love story. That was a really good mm -hmm. one. <laughs> um, what about the relationship between Rick and Lisa? How does that flow in this one? Good question. Um, without spoiling too much, uh, but the first <laughs> issue is now available, so for those here at Comic-Con, um, <laughs> Lisa isn't figured prominently in the series yet. Okay. But Rick has just been promoted to Major General. Um, and then something, then you have a Zentradi attack out of the blue. Of course. And because the SDF-3 is being constructed in orbit, that's where Lisa is right now. Oh. She's overseeing the construction because she will be in the commanding officer, she will be an admiral of the uh, Robotech Expeditionary Force to the Robotech Masters homeworld. So uh, right now, Rick is on Earth dealing with some things and things get a little bit complicated. And that's where our story begins. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. and. What was your favorite story out of the mm. Robotech series or Macross series? Wow, that's a good one. I would say my favorite series of episodes were the ones leading up to Force of Arms, which is when the uh, Zentradi come and basically turn Earth into a graveyard. It's one of the greatest episodes of anything I've ever seen, ever. Yeah. Um, and at the end of that is when Rick and Lisa technically fall, really fall in love, but he rescues her from the Grand Canyon right. r remains. Um, that had every bit of, it felt like all of the previous episodes, it just wrapped it all up in a nice bow. And a lot of people don't know that that was actually the original finale of the Mac Frost storyline. And because it was so popular, they animated another like eight or nine episodes to kind of give people a little bit more closure, which is what they did. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, with Min Mei singing, with Bree Tai betraying, you know, the Zentradi to help the human, human beings, yeah. the Grand Cannon wiping out the Zentradi forces. I mean, it was just like this perfect 22 minutes of just blood, blood and guts but it was just at the end of it a love story and that's the beautiful part about Robotech that it always comes down to simply being a love story yeah ultimately absolutely yeah. absolutely and where are we going to see Linman May are we going to see Linman May in this one yes I can't say too much more okay. Lin Min May will show up in some format or another okay wonderful because mm -hmm. she is she was a really interesting uh, character in the original series yeah. and you kind of felt a little bad for her when you know it was like over mm, yeah but uh, yeah yeah that's been a, uh, <laughs> a source of debate I feel like Min May's character in the novels in the original Robotech novels by Jack McKinney which was actually two different people um, she was a little bit she was better developed yeah in the comic books the older comics not so much um, but in recent years, they've definitely given her a lot more heart and a lot more life and a lot more intelligence because historically she's always been portrayed as kind of stupid. And I never understood that, you know, she wasn't. So I feel like Min May handled being dumped by Rick at the last minute better than anybody could have. <laughs> you know? and, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, Min May is a very interesting character. It's going to be interesting to see how she's um, handled. 
you know. Awesome. Well, we'll forward. definitely be looking forward to uh, reading through these the comic series. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go down to the booth and pick up a, a copy. Of Please it. do. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next video here at San Diego Comic Con. This is Misty with Brandon Easton. One more time. Thank you again. And we'll see you in the next one.